Hello. I want to talk to you about why we should always be doing something nice for our dog. And it's simply because they, they don't live forever. And by the time we realise that, it can be too late. Now, you might notice that there is a very big absence. There's no Marco in the background and we've had a big week and Marco's had an even bigger week. Um, he's had some surgery yesterday for a, uh, a liver tumour. And, but thankfully, it looks like it's all been removed and uh, it's curative for, for Marco, so that's lovely. But he's been at the specialist all week and um, I've just spoken to one of the other specialists just before I started this video and they've let me know that he's been recovering very well and eating really well and he'll be home tomorrow afternoon all going well. So Marco will be back for his regular appearances for our weekly videos. But I wanted to, as a little... A little um, a little ded dedication to Marco. This video is all about the things that he likes to do, but more importantly, I actually really enjoy watching him enjoy those activities. And I wanted to play just a few videos for you. And here's the first one here. Some really easy homegrown ideas that you can give to your dog. And here I've simply Okay, Marco's snuffling under the blankets here, so I've hidden some treats and just popped them in there anyway, and he's just sniffing them out, having a lovely time. But I'm enjoying watching him, and seeing him doing his thing is something that reconnects me with, with Marco every single day. And here he goes. Okay, finish that. Okay, where's the next lot? Um, so that's a really easy little homegrown enrichment idea to provide to your dog. Um, just to keep their interest and give them something nice to do. Now, this next one is a variation on that. And this is just an old tissue box that, um, that I've had. And I've scrunched up some newspaper and hidden some treats in it. And Marco's just enjoying that little food puzzle toy. And uh, he likes shredding the newspaper, but he doesn't actually swallow it. So that's safe for him. So make sure that when you're doing something similar for your dog with this type of activity that you put in safe things that you know your dog isn't going to chew up and swallow if he does tend to do that. So that's another little homegrown idea. But these sorts of things are just so easy. Um, and it also is, not only are we doing something nice for our dogs, but we're also helping them to perform the behaviours that they want to do as well as the behaviours that they need to do as a species every day. So we're helping to promote their mental health and well-being in everyday situations. Now, this is a really interesting one. So this is just, we have a bird as well called Brusa, a little canary. And I'm just encouraging Marco to come back to this and I'm making it easier for him. And it's just an old pillowcase again in a box here I've removed the sharp edges and hidden some treats in there and now it's it's a lot easier for Marco um, to manipulate now whereas before he was just a little bit confused as to what to do so I encouraged him back and um, there's he there he is enjoying that um, lovely little food puzzle and once again it didn't cost any money um, for me to buy um, and it was just a good use of recycling old packaging. Now here's another one with Marco enjoying, what's he enjoying here? Now this is another form of doing something nice for your dog. What I did here, Marco likes to have a little bit of a morning, morning snooze in the sun and all I did was put a nice comfy bed out there and that made a nice little activity that he's enjoying and it's just so lovely. Oh, hey. Have a good scratch there, Marco. Very good. But it's just lovely seeing him just enjoying resting because our dogs need to be able to rest and they need to have a choice of places that are nice and quiet that they can escape to and uh, be able to relax. So that's something that our dogs need to do every day. And that's something that is rewarding and fulfilling from their point of view as well. So that's a very simple thing, but it is also doing something nice for our dogs. Now, what else have we got here, Marco? What are you doing now? Okay, now, okay, we've got a nice little chew item here and Marky's in, Marco's in his onesie <laughs> and he's enjoying a chew, a chew item there. So 
once again, just make sure that you're providing a safe chew item for your dog. And with these sorts of things, once they've lost interest in it, then just nonchalantly pick it up so it's not lying around um, for you know days on end. And um, that's a good way just to make sure that you're keeping track of all of those chew items that your dog may be getting on a weekly basis because sometimes too many of those um, can uh, cause a little bit of stomach upset. So make sure you always supervise your dog when you're giving them some chew items like that. Now, this is a really nice one here and it just sort of shows that doing something nice for our dog doesn't just mean doing it, providing something for them during the day because sometimes dogs like to do things at night and if you think about you might be wanting to get on your computer or your Facebook, social media, watch TV. Well, here we have, you know, Marco enjoying some food puzzle toys um, while I'm doing something else, cooking dinner or sitting down and relaxing. But the important thing is that Marco has something nice to do as well, rather than just sitting on his mat and uh, being bored. So doing something nice for our dog, not just during the day, but at other times of the day, especially when we'd like them just to settle down and relax, and that's a great way to promote calm behaviour. Now this is um, another video here of Marco. Okay, so this is another night, but this just outlines some different activities that he's got, and here he's got a snuffle mat, and a snuffle mat is a fantastic um food puzzle toy for your dogs because you hide the kibble in, in uh, the, the snuffle mat and then your dog just has a lovely little mental workout sniffing and snuffling through the mat there and uh, retrieving those lovely treats. Now I've just got a few more here but these are really great ideas that you can incorporate at home and as I say they just don't they don't cost much at all. And this is just another variation on all those things that you've seen before in the videos. Same packaging, but just repackage them to make them look different from Marco's perspective. And so this looks like a completely new food puzzle toy from his perspective. What's that, Marco? That flew out quickly. Um, and it's just something that's very easy to do that also increases the novelty because it looks different from your dog's point of view. And this is some time later after Marco has uh, enjoyed going through all of those food puzzle toys. This is probably around about 25 minutes later, half an hour later. I just put the video recorder on and just left it running. And he's still enjoying um, foraging there. But he's, he's done a lot of work there. So that's really great. And that means that Marco will have expended a lot of mental energy but in a way that is fulfilling and productive from his point of view. And that means that he's going to be enjoying a nice little afternoon nap and having a nice rest as well. And here's another variation, once again, just an old pizza box. And this is really nice because Marco loves shredding the paper. Look, you have to pick up the mess when, when they're finished, but it's a small price to pay and it's really not that big a deal anyway. So Marco likes to manipulate those those items. He likes to chew them and you can see he's manipulating the item with his feet to hold it down. So it also um, stimulates not just their nose but it's also very good for tactile interaction as well and helping your dog, particularly puppies, to interact with an item and be able to balance themselves, manipulate an object um, and uh, most importantly, learn um, that everyday objects like a pizza box or other sort of packaging that they might not have seen before isn't, you know, a threatening thing for them. Because when we think about socialisation, it's not just to new places, new people, new dogs. It's also um, about getting our dogs used to just everyday things that happen and everyday objects that are in the environment naturally. And here's another really easy homegrown item. It's just an old kitchen roll that had some kitchen paper towel wrapped around it. And basically the same as the, your empty loo rolls, keep those, fold one end down, put some kibble in or some tasty chicken treats, anything, and um, then press the other end down and then you have a lovely homegrown toy there for your dog. So very easy to do. 
and um, once again you've got that tactile stimulation and interaction mobility and also using their teeth and their paws which is really great and another one that is so underutilized is a licking mat and basically here you can see Marco enjoying some vegetables and he's just licking that food stuff off the mat and it's a silicon mat and you can buy those at any um, any kitchenware store they're very economical and basically the action of licking promotes endorphins the release of endorphins and that also promotes a sense of calm and well-being and it's always um, if you have a dog that likes to groom or over groom this is a really good um, way to redirect that grooming behavior into something that's productive and rewarding because the food is a reward on its own now the last one that I wanted to show you of Marco enjoying something nice. We often give our dogs a bone and they like to go and bury it, make sure that's nice and safe. But oftentimes dogs don't have many nice places where they can dig and bury their favorite objects, their resources, um, and keep them safe for when they'd like to go back and enjoy them later on. So here Marco has some nice areas where he can dig, but uh, hang on not feeling too comfortable with the front yard. So it looks like we're gonna mosey on down to the backyard and see if we can find a nice place for the bone <laughs> on this occasion. So Marco's trotting down there very, very pleased with himself. And he's gonna find a nice little place out there to bury his bone and keep that nice and safe for later. But the thing is, this is a natural behavior for dogs and it's nice for them to be able to perform that. So that's by allowing your dog to have a place in the garden and there's a nice place Marco's found there so by allowing your dog places in the garden to dig and to hide their favoured resources is doing something nice for your dog because that is a behaviour that your dog needs to do instinctively but also some dogs really do enjoy that behaviour and enjoy digging so that's another aspect or another way to do something nice for your dog so I hope you enjoyed those videos the main point that I wanted to convey is that this week has been very difficult because Marco hasn't been here and of course we only realise how much we love our dogs and how much uh, joy and beauty that they bring to our life when they're not, when they're not around. And so just take this moment to go and reconnect with your dog and do something nice for them. And we'll talk again soon.